So what's FDA approved that damages your brain? The answer is excitotoxins. And that's why today I want to review with you where you could find excitotoxins in your food supply, as well as the health conditions it's linked to and how you could protect yourself from excitotoxins. Excitotoxins are added to food to stimulate the receptors on your tongue to make it tastier and addictive. There is no nutritional value whatsoever in excitotoxin. It cannot be used as a preservative. It is a chemical used to trick your body into wanting more. That's not good for you. The most common excitotoxins used in our food are aspartame, which is NutraSweet, as well as monosodium glutamate, or MSG. And what happens? Well, first of all, glutamate, which is an excitotoxin, it's the most commonly used neurotransmitter in our body. So you might actually think it's a good thing to ingest it, but no. Why? Because your body creates minuscule amounts of glutamate, and that's all it can handle. The body's smart. But when you consume foods with excitotoxins, it's way too much for the body to handle, and therefore it excites the neurons and fires them until they die. That's too much excitement for your brain and your body. The concentration in the food is way too much for you to handle. Okay, excitotoxins cause migraines, seizures, neurological disorders, blurred vision, as well as increased appetite, overeating, obesity, infertility, reproductive issues, impaired brain function, cancer, and cardiovascular damage, besides hurting a fetus if the pregnant mama is ingesting excitotoxins. So if they overstimulate your neuron receptors, is this a good thing? No, because these neuron receptors allow the brain cells to communicate with one another. But when they're exposed to these excitotoxins in the food, they fire impulses at a rapid rate until they become exhausted and die. And there's no repairing them once they're gone. So the three excitotoxins that you want to make sure you're not consuming are glutamate, aspartate, and cysteine. And the glutamate is also known as MSG, monosodium glutamate. Look at a bag of Doritos. It has monosodium glutamate. So do other chips. They just put it there, blatant. But they're not saying this is an excitotoxin that can kill your brain cells. They should. The way cigarette boxes have warnings, these foods containing excitotoxins should be clearly labeled. So where can we find it? Well, chips, potato chips, soups, fast foods, frozen foods, ready-made dinners, and canned goods, as well as different broths. The most encountered excitotoxin is glutamate. And there is scientific research that proves that it destroys certain brain regions as it overstimulates the neurons. Pregnant mothers are seldomly warned about excitotoxin damage to the fetus. The fetus can become vulnerable to excitotoxicity. And actually, thanks to the pioneering work of this Dr. Olney, he actually made sure that excitotoxins were removed from baby food. Unfortunately, food manufacturing companies continue to use excitotoxins and they even call it now hydrolysized vegetable protein. So start reading those labels. Look for MSG or monosodium glutamate. Look for hydrolysized vegetable protein and cysteine and NutraSweet because the FDA does not have any labeling regulations to follow. 
just remember that excitotoxins definitely impair your memory, they damage your brain. And if you're concerned, if you or your loved ones are elevated in excitotoxins, I highly recommend getting an organic acid test, which is the first morning urine test, functional medicine lab test, give you insight so much more than a regular CBC because it actually shows these chemicals in your body if they are elevated. And keep a food journal if you don't wanna run a test. Food journal, show exactly what you're eating. Look at your foods to determine if you have these excitotoxins in them. Far worse than the neurons that are dying. It actually can go throughout your body and cause inflammation. The basic firing of neurons occurs several hours after ingesting. So you wanna see in your food journal, do you feel differently after you eat certain foods? I have heard from many people when they have foods with MSG in it, they do feel ill. So maybe you could link this to excitotoxins. Research does show excitotoxins increases one's susceptibility, vulnerability to ALS, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, as well as seizures, migraines. It's a big, big mess. Who wants that? Now, there was actual research that showed when they tested this on animals, it destroyed the retina of these animals. And then they noticed it destroyed their entire brain. So one dose of MSG can destroy sensitive cells in the hypothalamus, which is the tiny organ in the brain, very important for hormonal functioning and directing other processes in our bodies. So here's a slew of health conditions associated with excitotoxins. Brain injury, strokes, brain tumors, ALS, Parkinson's, dementia, Alzheimer's, meningitis, neurological Lyme's disease, as well as schizophrenia, to name a few. Unfortunately, the practice of adding dangerous excitotoxins to the food is completely legal and has grown increasingly common since these chemicals were first introduced around 1945. The FDA seems to have a blind eye and a deaf ear because despite truly shocking research, the FDA resists taking any action and even resisted the efforts of labeling it, clear labeling. So you have to understand that you have to read those labels. The companies are putting other names like the hydrolyzed vegetable protein instead of straight MSG. Or, unfortunately, even for organic products, they put natural flavoring. It's just horrible. You have to almost become a scientific uh, researcher to know what you're eating, if you are eating processed foods, organic or not. And the research that's done on excitotoxins is funded by the very company that add excitotoxins to their food supply. So everything's compromised these days and it's been going on for a long time. Many critics point out that the FDA itself is strongly influenced by food industry ties. Um, so we have a problem. So what do you do? Well, you take matters into your own hand and this whole channel is about making you your best health care advocate by empowering you with the knowledge. And if you can get functional medicine testing, get it done, an organic acid test, and get your glyphosate testing done as well. So you could see how your body's functioning. If you're taking the food in and you can't detoxify, you don't have enough vitamin C or magnesium, vitamin D, and glutathione, you're not going to be able to detoxify this. If you're eating too much processed food, you're taking too much and the body can only do so much. Keep your food journal and really become 
an intensive label reader on any foods that you purchase so you could spot excitotoxins or their disguises, such as natural flavoring or this vegetable protein, um, even in organic vegetable stock and even certain um, salad dressings because the FDA is not going to be helping you. Instead of using NutraSweet, use Stevia. There's whole leaf organic Stevia. Um, 365 makes a great brand. It's not processed like the ones that you see on TV. Magnesium citrate is going to help you as well as um, vitamin C from tapioca. You can also get homeopathic remedies to help detoxify from glutamate, from excitotoxins, from aspartame, as well as doing some gentle detoxing. Homeopathic can really help and stop the food from coming in. If you want to explore more on the topic, then there's a great book that you can read and it's titled Excitotoxin, The Taste That Kills. That speaks volumes in of itself. And I always recommend reading a page a day in my book, Healthy Living Every Day, Your Total Wellness Blueprint. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss an upcoming episode. Remember, you're here for a reason. You have goals and aspirations. And in order to reach them all and live a happy, healthy life, you need to become your best health advocate. You need to determine what you put into your body, what foods you're eating, and see the patterns and the associations of how you feel and what you're eating and drinking. I know you could do it. You can become your best health advocate and reach total wellness of mind and body. Your health is worth it because you are worth it.